lesson, we are going to be recognizing equations that are linear functions. So there are three points to remember. First of all, no exponents um, with the variable. The second one is the variable must be to the power of 1. And last but not least, no variables are in the denominator. So as we go over the next problems, we're just going to write a yes if it is a linear function or a no if it is not a linear function. Remember, linear means that if you drew it, it would be a straight line. So as we're looking at this, and we have f of x is equal to 20, um, is equal to 25 hundredths x minus 7.5, this is really just like our y. And what we're looking at is we are looking at this part of each problem. So looking at that, I see my variable is to the first power. And yes, this is a function. So again, we are just looking at this part of the equation. And I see that my variable is actually in an exponent, exponent. So notice that was our first rule. No variables in the exponent. So this definitely is not a linear function. For the next one, we again, we're just looking at this. And when I'm looking at that, don't let the x in the numerator scare you because I can actually rewrite this problem where it is a 1 is understood in front of this x, so it's 1 seventh x. So knowing that, we do know that absolutely this is a linear function. Looking at the next one, oh, now notice we actually have a number over here with this, but that's okay because I can simplify by moving it over and I'm just looking that I have numbers there. And so if I have numbers there, notice it's meeting all of the requirements for being a linear function. So the answer would definitely be a yes. Again, same thing with this. Yes, this is a linear function. We do not meet any of their criteria to go ahead and to knock it out. Looking at number six now, notice in the denominator, I do have an x, and it says no variables in the denominator. So with that right here, I know that my answer is going to be no. This is not a linear function. With number seven, we have f of x is equal to 3x plus 2. I see that indeed I just have an x to the first power. So this is a function, linear function. And now, while this is a function, because of the x squared, it is not a linear function. This would be considered a quadratic. If this video was helpful to you today, please add a like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more math with Marsha. See you again soon.